Hey guys, how's it going? Today we have something a little different in store. We are doing a soup recipe. Matt hates soup, so we never really do it. And it's like difficult, in my opinion, to like do for a video. We're definitely doing one today and it's super delicious. It's a chicken bacon cheddar soup. So super American, down home, hearty, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it right now. We are starting right here with 12 ounces of bacon and I'm just gonna chop this up and we also have a large skillet heating to medium high heat that we are just gonna add the chopped bacon to. I've always been like a huge soup lover. I always, always had like at least five cans of Progresso chicken noodle soup in my apartment or my house. I don't know, there's just something about Progresso soup that I love so much. As far as making the soup, definitely use a bigger pot if you have one. We do not, so we are definitely gonna be pushing the limit and we'll see how it goes. You have terrible knives. I didn't even know knife sharpeners were a thing until I met you. I'm butchering this. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna add this to the skillet that's heating behind me and we'll let it do its thing while we get all the other ingredients prepped. This will be a couple minutes, we'll just let it cook down. And while the bacon is cooking, we are gonna prep our veggies. We have some onion, half a white onion, some celery. We are just gonna give this a rough chop. And right before I chop the celery, I am going to get some oil heating in our pan over medium heat. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil or avocado oil, whatever you have, while we chop up our celery. And we are gonna add the onion and the celery to our hot pot. And we're gonna let this saute for about five minutes until it becomes nice and tender. And then don't forget to check on your bacon. That can quickly burn. So we're gonna check on it now. And you want it pretty crispy, like fully cooked through. And that's how I generally like my bacon, but the crispiness will add a lot of nice texture to this soup. All right, so it's been about five minutes and we're gonna add in one fourth cup of butter that I just cubed up along with four cups of chicken broth. You can use whatever broth you want. And simmer it for 10 minutes. So this is looking pretty perfect. And I'm gonna pull out the bacon onto a paper towel lined plate, let that drain, and uh, then we'll have it ready for the soup. And then I also forgot to mention, we're gonna season this slightly with some salt, pepper, and a little cayenne. This will give it a nice kick. Again. And then we're gonna give it one last mix before we just let it simmer and do its thing. So it's been 10 minutes and the soup has been simmering. So I am going to add in a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum and this is gonna help thicken the soup. And if you've never used xanthan gum, it's really just a, our favorite thickening agent and it's great for making soups, for gravies, uh, for sauces, and you wanna add it to anything that's hot and whisk it in, that'll help thicken it. It takes about a couple minutes to really thicken, and it's also very easy to overdo it. And if you overdo it, it will turn into like a gelatinous texture. So I always start with a quarter teaspoon and work my way up if I need more. Now we're gonna add in three cups of cheddar cheese and one cup of heavy cream. So since this is a little pot, I'm gonna first add the cheese and we're gonna try and get that melted down. So we're just gonna mix this around, let the cheddar melt down. This is a perfect pot. We got very lucky here. Let's whisk this around. We are ready to add our last two ingredients, but just a quick note, it takes a lot longer than I thought it would for the cheddar to melt down. So that was about eight to 10 minutes where I was just stirring it pretty frequently and letting the cheese fully incorporate. And now it's looking really good. So we're gonna add in you can add in all the bacon or three fourths if you wanna save some for garnishing. And then anywhere from two to three cups of cooked cubed chicken. So you can use rotisserie chicken, you can cook your own chicken at home, and you can use any pre-cooked chicken you want for ease. So that's what we did, we just got some pre-cooked chicken. That was a little risky there. We're just gonna heat this through and then it'll be ready to serve. Oh my God, that looks great. The true test would be if Matt tasted this and was like, and really liked it. Then we know we have a good soup on our hands. I'll make him try it afterwards. I'll put in the blog post what he thinks, rating out of one to 10. Make sure you look for that. Okay, and we're gonna serve ourselves up a bowl. 
bacon for the top. Mmm, that cheddar soup base on its own is super good. You don't even need to add any of the chicken or the bacon, though that amplifies it. This is a really, really great recipe. This would probably also freeze pretty well, but this is a delicious cheddar bacon soup recipe. Linked below is the description on how to make this step-by-step. -step. Definitely check that out and also read the blog post to find out what Matt thought about the soup. We'll see you soon.